guys, it's Arika Misha, and it is Taco Saturday. Not Tuesday, but Saturday. That's what we're doing. You can have tacos any day you want. It's Saturday, and we're having tacos. Let's go. So, all right, I got my craft mild cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. I have the mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. I have my ground beef. And I have my Fresh Express Shreds Iceberg Chopped Up Lettuce Chaff. Alright, and I've got my El Paso, Old El Paso Taco Season Mix Original. And I've got my Old El Paso Soft Tortilla Bowls Flour. We love these. Look at that bowl. I'm going to fill my bowl. Y'all already know. And Old El Paso 10 Extra Large super stuffers these are the big tacos super stuffers yes yes because y'all know i'm greedy yep mm -hmm. oh man i have no shame in admitting that i love to eat i love food i have no shame y'all don't be ashamed to say you love to eat love to eat food whether that's turkey healthy food whatever it doesn't matter y'all you love to eat you love to eat i think everybody love food some people admit some people don't but yeah I love to eat. Um, all right, guys. So it is Saturday. It's Taco Saturday, guys. So y'all see everything I got here. Um, this is pretty much what we eat on our tacos. Um, sometimes I may do a little sour cream. Um, we don't really do tomatoes. Um, you know, we don't really do all that other stuff. But yeah, just some meat, cheese, and lettuce for us. We're good to go. So sometimes I may put a little ranch, a little ranch on it, give it a little kick little ranch i definitely put a little hot sauce to give it a little flavor a little spiciness all right y'all taco saturday let's go okay guys i am browning my beef Le beef browning my beef i did add a little seasoning salt um i did the you know like the complete the all combined season i did some garlic pepper did a little pepper a little salt I really don't season my meat too much, but I do add a little season while I'm cooking it. It can have some flavor because when you add that, um, you know, that taco packet, the taco seasoning, it seasons your meat already. But when I cook my meat, I do season it with a little garlic pepper, a little salt, um, all around season, you know, the season with everything in it. So yeah, I definitely do that while I'm cooking it. I season my meat while I'm cooking it. Yes, I do. Some people do, some people don't, but um, while my meat cooking, I'm going to need it to soak in all the seasons and, you know, so it can have some flavor. I don't want to cook it. It's already cooked and it ain't got no flavor. Nah. Not me, but to each his own. Alright. And while our meat is cooking, alright, two third cups of water. Let me get that ready. beef cooked up yeah I leave my beef I let it go ahead and cook cook on up and of course I'm gonna drain this extra juice off of it get it all cooked up here taco Saturday welcome to Moe's well not really <laughs> if y'all ever been to Moe's when you walk in they say welcome to Moe's Moe's is a restaurant. Google it if you don't know. But alright, we getting this beef all cooked up. Okay, let me drain some of this uh, oil off my beef. And I will be back to show you guys how I season my beef up uh, for the tacos. My little secret recipe I put in there. I don't mind sharing, y'all know me. So I'll be back to show y'all that. I'll be back guys. Okay guys, I am back. I have drained some of that extra uh, juice, oil from my meat. 
and I like to cook my meat a little longer I like to let my beef get nice and brown so after I drained all that oil uh, well you know the beef fat um, after I drain all that grease from my beef I like to let my beef get nice and brown I think I'm pretty sure I've cooked tacos on my channel before I think maybe I have in the beginning if not okay here's your here's your uh, taco <laughs> taco video if I have oh well sorry not sorry okay let's get this beef all cooked up I've got my two-third cups of water over there waiting for me to add that seasoning mix Old El Paso. I like Old El Paso. It tastes really good. I like Old El Paso. You know what? I like the Publix brand too. I like the Publix brand too. Publix taco season is pretty decent. Y'all know I love some Publix now. Y'all know I love me some Publix. Alright, so let's cut our heat down. Get our fan going. I'm going to get that two-third cups of water poured in there. There it goes. Two-third cups of water. I've got my taco seasoning mix. Get this open. So we can get that in there. Okay. Alright, got our taco mix in there. Get that all nice and stirred up. You guys can see real good. Okay. Ain't no fun if you can't see. So I like to make sure y'all can see. All right. Mix it all up. I like the original season. And the girls don't really like spicy. So I just add, um, they do have different types of seasoning. Spicy season, all kinds. But I usually just stick with the original. And then I can always add hot sauce. And of course you guys know you can cook your tacos with turkey, whatever kind of meat you want. Whatever kind of meat you want. We like beef. We like turkey too. I'm telling you, you hook that turkey up, you won't even know it's turkey. You won't even know it's ground turkey. Cook it up. Season it up real good. Can't even tell it's turkey. It's got to be cooked the right way. Ground turkey, got to be cooked the right way. You got to season it up. I'm telling y'all. Hook it right on up. Oh, uh oh, lost some of my beef. Man overboard. Lost some of my beef. Okay, let me wipe the stove off. All right. Getting that mixed up real good. Make sure you got your beef all mixed up real good. Covered in that seasoning. That taco seasoning. Woo wee. Smells like an old El Paso in here. Yes it does. Old El Paso. Yes. Mm 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 mm. I got that heat turned down. Like a low heat. Okay, let me give it a taste. See how it tastes. See if I need to add anything. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. That is so good, guys. So good. Now, let me show you guys my secret recipe. Yep. Tomato sauce. I always add tomato sauce to help my meat. You know, make it a little, a little wet so it's not so dry. I'm going to pour all this in there. Ain't got that much left in here. Pour it all in there. Put a little water in my jar. Shake it up. Get all of my stuff that I paid for. There you go. Alright. And y'all already know. Anytime I deal with spaghetti sauce, I always add a little sugar to cut back on that sharp tomato taste. Y'all know how it is. Just showing y'all how I do it. 
Now it ain't gonna make it taste like spaghetti, y'all. The taco season mix is in there. It's gonna taste like tacos. The girls love it. I love it. That's my secret. A little bit of tomato sauce. That's actually about um, a third of cup, a third cup of uh, tomato of um, spaghetti sauce. Whatever spaghetti sauce you want to use, sugar-free, salt-free, whatever you want to use. And see how it gets my meat, makes it a little wet so it's not so dry. You don't want to have dry taco meat. I mean, I use um, I use the salsa. I use that sometimes. I think you guys have seen that on my channel. I use the little salsa mix. Um, I use spaghetti sauce, anything to help my meat get a little wet so it's not so dry, you know? So, and I add a little sugar. That's about two tablespoons of sugar to take away that sharpness of the tomato. You know how tomato's real like pungent, like it's got a little, little ting to it, so. You add a little bit of sugar to move everything out. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. And see, I like getting the um, I like getting the um, spaghetti sauce with the tomatoes in it. So you know, you get a little tomato in there. I sneak it in there on the girls. <laughs> they don't even know it when they eat their tacos. They don't even know it. got tomatoes in there. They don't even know they tan the tacos up. But yeah. So, that's it guys. Looks delicious. I know it looks delicious. So, alright, so let's get into me getting my tacos panned up so I can get them in the oven. That's what we're doing next. Okay guys, just wanted to show you how I tray up my tacos. You guys know I line my pan with aluminum foil. It's just one of those thin cookie sheets, nothing serious. Um, I line it with aluminum foil. I sit my tacos up. They kind of fall, you know how tacos are. Um, but I sit them up. I like to have them sitting up. That way, you know, they get cooked correctly all around, you know. And the soft tacos, I do not put in the oven. Because sometimes when I put them in the oven, they kind of burn around the edges and the edges get all hard. No, 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 no. No, from experience, I'm just saying what I do. Do whatever you want, I'm just saying what I do. Um, I put the soft tacos in the microwave for about 20 seconds. Once they're nice and warm, that's it. That way I don't have to worry about my edges getting all hard and crusty. So, yep, I just put them in the microwave to warm them up. That's all you need to do. And I put them in the microwave for like maybe, like I said, 20 seconds. Warms them up real nice and perfect. Gets them nice and warm. That's all we need. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put these in the oven. The tacos are 350 degrees. My oven's already preheated. Waiting on the tacos. And they either take about maybe what five or ten minutes, not even that long. Five minutes to get warm. So let's go ahead and get these in the oven and I'll get the soft tacos in the microwave, guys. And I'll be back to show you the final results. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and build these tacos. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do a soft bowl taco. And I'm also gonna go ahead and do a uh, regular a uh, hard taco. So okay. Let's get our meat over here. Looks delicious. Our meat looks delicious. Okay. Alright. Now, with the bowls, I like to put my cheese in first so that the oil, you know, your, your juices from your meat doesn't make the bottom of my taco soggy. I don't know y'all, it's, it's a bit much, but trust me, I've made tacos a million times. So that cheese protects the bottom so your bottom doesn't get all wet and soggy. So, got my meat in there. Okay. <coughs> all right. So we got our meat in there. We got, we got cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese. A little bit of that on there. Let me zoom y'all in so you can see what's really going on. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to let y'all all in the business. Okay. So, we got the cheddar cheese down. We got some beef. We got some mozzarella cheese down. I like the iceberg lettuce. We like the iceberg lettuce. Go ahead and pull some of that goodness on there. Drizzle, drizzle some of that on there. Mm-hmm. I think I might throw a little bit more of that 
cheddar across the top to give it some color. And I've got some ranch, classic ranch dressing here, fat free. Y'all, please don't think I picked this up on purpose. I thought it was regular classic ranch and it ended up being fat free. But you know what? It still tastes good, y'all, for real. It, it still tastes good because y'all know I tell y'all the truth. This tastes nasty, but it don't. It really tastes good. I was surprised. I was like, okay, fat free tasting like that. So I just drizzle a little ranch across like that. Break it down like that. Mm-hmm. That ranch tastes really good to be fat free, y'all. It tastes real good. All right, so we got our cheese across there. Let me go ahead and get a little beef in here in our taco. Show y'all how I do the taco. The taco hard, so it, it can stand, you know, the juices. So get my meat in there. I like taking my spoon and spreading my meat so my meat ain't all chunky. All right. And I like putting some mozzarella cheese, some mozzarella cheese in there. Put some cheddar cheese in there. I like mozzarella and cheddar. I like both cheeses on my tacos. Throw some old iceberg up in there, a little burg in there. Little burgy burg. Okay, y'all see the taco. Y'all see the taco. There's all kind of ways to fix tacos. You can put anything you want in your taco. Okay, y'all see how I made that drizzle? Y'all seen it? Mmm. Mm-hmm. See if I can get that taco to face, y'all. You can add a little bit more beef in there if you want. All right, y'all. Okay. Got my tacos ready. Put a little bit of the star to show in there. Oh, no, child. I'm telling y'all. You know, I don't know about these parsley's because he been really showing out lately, trying to steal the show. He been doing a lot of that. Showing up and stuff. Showing up, trying to show out. But yeah, y'all, that's it. Fix your tacos however you want. I like meat, beef, two cheeses, a little ranch, a little hot sauce. I forgot the hot sauce, that's all right. I'll add it when I get to eating it. But yeah, y'all, taco Saturday. Fix your tacos however you like. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Arika Misha. Wait, hold on, I got to say it. Y'all seen me do it. I ain't forget to say it. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. So, that's the end of that. So, all right, guys, this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.